name's Kevin Skinner, 35 years of age. I'm from Mayfield, Kentucky. Ever wondered what happened to the soulful voice that once rocked America's Got Talent stage and melted millions of hearts? From a small town boy with big dreams to the dazzling lights of Las Vegas, Kevin Skinner's journey is nothing short of a roller coaster. Dive in as we unravel the untold story of this AGT winner who vanished from the spotlight. You won't believe where he is now. Mayfield, Kentucky isn't just another dot on the map. It's a place where stories begin. And for Kevin, it's where his musical journey took its first steps. This town, with its close-knit community and simple joys, was the backdrop to Kevin's early days. From a young age, Kevin wasn't like other kids. While some played outside, he was indoors, strumming on an old guitar, trying to pen down lyrics that echoed his feelings. Every evening, the Skinner household resonated with melodies, thanks largely to Joe Skinner, Kevin's father. Joe was a man of few words but many tunes. A country singer by heart, he had a collection of Hank Williams songs that he would play on repeat. Those melodies became the lullabies of Kevin's childhood. It was under Joe's watchful eye that Kevin honed his craft. Their living room sessions, where father and son would jam together, became legendary in their own right. Joe didn't just teach Kevin about music. He instilled in him a passion, a drive. And as the years rolled on, this passion would be Kevin's guiding light, leading him to stages much bigger than the small porches of Mayfield. Before the bright lights and roaring applause, Kevin's life was a medley of hard work and small-town gigs. Picture this, Kevin, covered in dust, chasing after chickens in the dead of night. It wasn't glamorous, but it paid the bills. And when he wasn't catching chickens, he was catching dreams, one open mic night at a time. These local stages, dimly lit and filled with familiar faces, were where Kevin truly felt alive. Then came a turning point. A friend mentioned America's Got Talent, and something clicked. Why not? Kevin thought. It was a long shot, but he had a voice, a guitar, and a pocket full of dreams. So he decided to take the plunge and audition. Now, choosing the right song for such a big audition can be daunting, but for Kevin, it was clear. He picked Garth Brooks's If Tomorrow Never Comes, but it wasn't just because it was a great song. It held a special place in his heart. Every time he strummed its chords, he was transported back to time spent with his late grandmother, playing it for her. It was more than a song. It was a memory, a feeling. And as he stood on the AGT stage, guitar in hand, he wasn't just singing for the judges, he was singing for her. When Kevin took the stage, there was an undeniable energy in the air. The judges, seasoned in spotting talent, exchanged curious glances. And then, as the first notes flowed, their skepticism melted away. Peters Morgan leaned in, Sharon Osbourne's eyes sparkled, and David Hasselhoff seemed lost in the melody. Kevin wasn't just another contestant. He was a revelation. As the competition progressed, Kevin didn't just participate. He owned the stage. Each performance was a testament to his raw talent and deep-rooted passion, but a few moments truly shone brighter. His rendition of Bob Dylan's Make You Feel My Love during the quarterfinals was pure magic. It wasn't just a song. It was an emotion, a story, a journey. And when he took on Always On My Mind in the semifinals, there wasn't a dry eye in the house. But the real test was the finale. The pressure was immense. The weight of the entire journey, the dreams, the hopes, all culminating in this one moment. Kevin chose Air Osmet's I Don't Want to Miss a Thing, and it was a masterstroke. Every note, every word resonated with the audience's heartstrings. And when the final note faded, the arena erupted in applause. The result's night was a whirlwind of emotions. As the host announced the winner, time seemed to stand still. And then the moment arrived. Kevin Skinner, the chicken catcher from Mayfield, Kentucky, was crowned the champion of America's Got Talent. From the small stages of his hometown to the grandeur of AGT, Kevin's star had truly risen. Winning AGT wasn't just about the title for Kevin. It was a life changer. 
the million dollar prize. Well, it wasn't handed over in a big suitcase. Instead, Kevin received it as an annuity, spread out over years. This meant a steady income, a safety net, no more chasing chickens for a living. Kevin had financial security. Soon, Kevin's face was everywhere. Talk shows, which once seemed like a distant dream, now had their doors wide open for him. He sat on the couch with Conan O'Brien, sharing laughs and stories. On the Ellen DeGeneres show, he strummed his guitar, and the audience swayed to his tunes. And when he chatted with Kelly and Ryan, his down-to-earth charm won hearts all over again. But perhaps the most heartwarming change was how Kevin could now give back. Remember the niece who always wanted a car? Kevin made sure she got one. Friends who stood by him during tough times. He was there for them, lending a helping hand. Every dollar he spent on his family was a reminder of his journey. From Mayfield's quiet streets to AGT's grand stage. For Kevin, the real prize wasn't just the money or fame. It was the chance to bring smiles to the faces of those he loved. With the AGT win under his belt, Kevin was on a roll. The music world took notice, and soon, the Cypress Tree recording label came knocking. It was a dream come true. A chance to record, to share his music with the world on a larger scale. Kevin inked the deal, and the studio became his second home. Then came Long Ride, his debut album. It was a collection of melodies close to his heart, each song echoing his journey. Released on a day as special as Street Patrick's, it was Kevin's tribute to his roots and his dreams. But the road in the music industry is never smooth. While his fans cheered, the critics were divided. Some loved it, calling it raw and genuine. Others felt it lacked the polish of chart toppers. The album sales didn't quite hit the expected numbers. And then there was the challenge of making Kevin Skinner, the brand. In a world of flashy music videos and viral marketing, Kevin's approach was more personal. He connected with fans on Facebook, sharing updates and snippets. But in the vast ocean of the music world, it was easy to get lost. His brand needed more visibility, a stronger push. The music video for Like It's The Last Goodbye garnered views, but the momentum was hard to maintain. In the end, Kevin's post-AGT music journey was a mix of highs and lows. The passion was there, the talent undeniable. But the world of music with its glitz and competition demanded more. And Kevin, with his guitar and dreams, was navigating this new terrain, one note at a time. Life on the big stage brought its own set of challenges for Kevin. While the world saw his successes, behind the scenes, things were unraveling. The first blow came when Kristen Skinner, his partner for over a decade, decided to part ways. The split wasn't just the end of a marriage. It was the end of an era for Kevin. The woman who had been by his side, through thick and thin, was no longer there. But heartbreak wasn't the only demon Kevin was babbling. Whispers began to circulate about his struggles with alcohol. The pressures of fame, the weight of expectations, it all seemed to be taking a toll on him. And then, one day, he just vanished. The news spread like wildfire. Kevin Skinner, the AGT star, was missing. Thankfully, a few days later he was found, but the incident raised many eyebrows and concerns. These personal setbacks cast a shadow on his professional life. The vibrant performer, who once captivated audiences, now seemed distant, lost, concerts were fewer, and the spark, the passion that Kevin was known for, seemed to wane. It was evident, the personal battles were affecting his career. The journey from Mayfield to AGT had been a dream, but the road ahead was proving to be filled with hurdles. And Kevin, with his guitar in tow, was trying to find his way back to the music, back to himself. After the whirlwind of AGT and the roller coaster that followed, Kevin chose a quieter path. He stepped away from the glaring lights and the constant buzz, retreating to a life more familiar, more grounded. The bustling stages were replaced by the serene sounds of Mayfield, where life moved at its own pace. But even as he stayed away from the spotlight, 
his legacy on AGT remained. During the show's 10-year anniversary special, amidst a sea of memorable contestants, Piers Morgan had a special mention. Out of all the talents he'd seen, Kevin Skinner still held a unique place in his heart. It was a testament to Kevin's impact, a reminder that even if he was away from our screens, his music and story continued to resonate.